hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is sophia if this is your first time on um, my channel you're highly welcome i appreciate you stopping by um today is a quick video hopefully okay guys so i just want to talk about working with commercial pattern before we get into the video i just want to appreciate all my new subscribers you're highly welcome i appreciate you all hope you enjoy my videos please don't forget to give them a thumbs up if you do share it so it can be useful to someone else okay guys so let's get into the video <laughs> I got um, three patterns here. I got three patterns here. I got the simplicity one, and I got two of this uh, McCoy pattern. Okay. Okay. So now to work with a commercial pattern, if you don't understand it, it can be quite difficult to work with it. Okay. I've got some few people that i teach in the past who do, didn't understand how to use commercial pattern commercial pattern can be very helpful if you don't know how to cut freehand if you don't know how to draft your own pattern commercial pattern can be very useful they got simple ones simple styles like this one is a very simple style as you can see got a lot of simple styles on it and it comes in different sizes like this particular one i'm showing you right now they have up to size medium so the sizes is there so when you want to buy a pattern either in a fabric shop where they sell the pattern you have to go to the fabric shop and flip through the book they have a big catalog book for this brand they also have a catalog book for this brand i actually have the catalog so i just flip through any pattern i like I normally just write the number down this number here and then when you go to the fabric shop you go and search and see if they have it sometimes they might have this particular pattern sometimes they might not have it if they don't have it i normally go online you know to buy it there is this website which i go as well and i buy it their pattern from there um where's the call again something so direct so so direct website you might probably find a lot of patterns i have different brand i got simplicity i got my cane i got another one i think i got like three more either three more or two more brand that i like but the one i find simple to use is simplicity i find simplicity when i was still learning how to sew i find simplicity quite easy to use like this particular pattern i'm showing you you can see it's a princess that it got different type of um style there and you can see that it has um princess sim it's called princess sim i know we nigerians we call it princess that but it's princess sim okay yeah so i just wanted to show you the three pattern first before we get into the video properly so we also have this one as you can see got some simple mccoin or mccain i don't know how, that's how i normally pronounce it anyway in case i get the pronunciation wrong <laughs> okay so you also have to look and see that they all have a number they all have a number this is the number you use to order it if you are searching for the pattern if you type this number on the internet you might just come across this particular pattern you might not come across it because it depends you might find it you might not find it anymore it depends on when it was made i think sometimes they go out of fashion i don't know and sometimes they come back but like this outfit you can see it's quite simple to make this one is quite simple to make this one is a little more challenging if you don't understand princess sim very well yet if you are if you are new to sewing i wouldn't really say get this pattern yet because you are going to find it a bit challenging to deal with so i would probably recommend something like this if you are new to sewing and you want to work with commercial pattern okay which are quite straightforward okay guys so first thing you do when you want to get a commercial pattern remember to pick me i always tend to go for the like the ones that go more sizes like this one it came with a magazine so it was free inside the magazine 
yeah so this was the size that was inside so you can see that i got like x s small then medium so that's like extra small small medium but if you look at this one because when i want to buy as i say i like to get because i'm a plus size i like to get plus size you can see this one this one i think they have it in two sizes when i want to get it it's long time ago you can see that it said size on top here so the, the size is from 20 to 28 which means the pattern inside here is us size 20 woman to 28 woman that's why they got the w at the top of it there so i always pick something like this okay so another advice i will give you is if it's possible for you to take your measurement before you go and buy your pattern because at the back of the pattern you will always see all this information at the back of the pattern sometimes some people don't understand all this information what the information is practically telling you is giving you your body measurement you can see it's giving you your body measurement that's what the information is there so like the first one is said can you see it's a body measurement so the first one said your bust your waist your hip nine inches remember from your waist to your hip is normally nine inches it's written there below waist can you see it there so it's normally nine inches most people hip line start from there and then you also have back neck to waist because of this style so it's giving you all the measurement here so you just need to mark take your own measurement and see if your measurement is in any of these here okay check to make sure your measurement is in any of these here so that when you want to buy the pattern or when you go to the store and you see the book you know and sometimes the book gives you this information as well i don't think it's in all the patterns that it gives you this information sometimes you have to buy it first before you see this information but i think simplicity i think you tend to see this first it's been longer by pattern so i can't even remember very well but anyway so after the body measurement it now tells you the amount of fabric you need for each style for each style there is about one two three styles here a b c there's three styles here so it tells you the amount of fabric you need if you are buying 45 inch um, wide or um, high fabric it tells you you need two one fourth of a meter it just tell you how many you need or in either a meter or in a yard if you are buying 60 the fabric that is 60 inches long it tells you how many you need to buy the same thing with the b the same thing with the c okay it also tells you if you need a interfacing lining it also tells you the weight which one how many meters or yard you need which one you need okay and at the bottom here as well if you need a cup like if you want to put a cup it also tells you everything at the bottom here okay and i think it also say it in a different language over here but this part is the english part and this other part here is in a different language so there's two languages here maybe three i don't know but this is the english part okay so make sure you take your measurement if possible so that you will know which pattern to get okay so now once you get your pattern once you get your pattern let's assume in when you get there you didn't find your the pattern you really really like and you didn't find the exact size let's say it was too small like this one now let's say the pattern okay let me use this one here let's say you buy this one you, did, you didn't find it up to size 28 or let's say your size here is size 20. Remember, you need to measure your bust to see which is your actual size. Because once you cut the pattern out and you sew it finished, it might not size you if you don't measure your bust, your hip, your waist. So that you will know the most important measurement are your bust, your waist, your hip. 
those are the most important measurement when you want to make an outfit okay guys so yeah okay so guys and i forgot to also mention as you can see at the back of the pattern it also gives you like a transparent um drawing in most of the patterns have that i think majority of them has this transparent drawing at the back like this one i showed you see that you have it at the side here don't know if you can see it this one also have it as well forgot to mention that okay guys so as i say always make sure you take your measurement so you will also and make sure you read the back of this so as i was saying for example you want to make a size 20 and you shake the back and the measurement here it's not there's none that is exact your bust measurement here once you've checked you didn't see your bust measurement here the best thing to do is to go one size up instead of sewing size 20 sew a size 22 okay if you sew a size 22 which is the last of the pattern just cut this 22 out when you sew a 22 you are more likely to be able to wear the outfit like this beautiful dress here if you say oh my size is just size 20 i will just cut the 20 without even taking your measurement and looking at the back which some people do even when i first of all started i made the mistake i swear you know just the excitement so i made the mistake so when you cut your size size 20 when you finish so you need to realize it doesn't size you that's because you are supposed to have gone one size up okay so in most cases let's say you are size 24 and this pattern come in size 20 it means you are you are going to have to add a paper a drafting paper to the pattern in that one if you are a beginner it's going to be a bit difficult if you are a beginner to sew into pattern use a commercial pattern because someone will need to teach you how to add um paper to like now I'll give you an example so this is the one i've cut out just going to use this to give you an example and you can see this is a dress this is the simplicity pattern it's a dress as you can see i've made the dress already i've already made the dress so let's assume in this particular one you can see this i cut a size 22 okay let us zoom in after i check the back of the paper the back of the pattern and my bust is not 22 okay i will need to attach a pattern paper here make it to make this pattern a bit more bigger okay so i will need to attach a pattern paper to the side some people also add to the princess seam but I prefer to add it to the part where it's a little more easier to add, to extend. So you need to extend your pattern. So I prefer to add it to the part where it's a little more easier to extend. Okay. Sometimes the pattern will give you information on where to cut open to, to make the pattern more um, wider or longer. Like if the person is quite tall and this is not long enough sometimes the pattern will tell you cut into here and attach paper in in between it or um, pattern drafted paper in the middle that will make the pattern more longer okay guys so you will need to learn how to do that okay so that's what i wanted to say about that so when you get your, your pattern when you get your pattern all this information is inside here okay so once you get your pattern as i said make sure you get your correct pattern if your size is size 20 and you didn't see your bust measurement there just buy a pattern that is more than your size so you can go one size up okay so if you are a size 20 go use cut out a size 22 sometimes it's better for your outfit to be a little bigger than to be tighter you can't wear it if your outfit is a bit bigger when you wear it you can always adjust it to fit you but if it's small, you can never wear it. Okay, so that's the advice. It's better to be bigger than to be smaller where you cannot wear it. Okay, so once you get your pattern home, you open it, buy your fabric, 
buy your sewing thread buy your needle if you don't have needle in your machine open it when you open it you'll get all this inside your pattern envelope so this is the instruction to follow when you are sewing it this is the instruction it come all pattern comes with sewing instruction okay guys all the pattern comes with sewing instruction you can see the number of the pattern there again in case you lost a pattern piece you can use this number to find it online so you can complete your pattern piece okay so all pattern comes with number and they all come with sewing instruction if you don't know how to sew without instruction please follow the instruction it's very very important with the instruction you can sew the outfit from a to z okay so you can see let's start with this one and also this one also tells you this instruction also tells you all the pattern comes with this all pattern comes with this so don't don't be alarmed all pattern comes with this the instruction is quite big it tells you how to also fold the fabric on the table it tells you how to also fold the fabric on the table can you see it over here let me find the english one this is the english one okay it's all english anyway it tells you how to fold the fabric on the table so that you you can maximize your fabric properly without having to buy too much fabric let's assume you already bought two two yards of fabric and then you are cutting it you realize it's not enough that means you didn't fold it properly and you didn't take your measurement correctly okay if you follow the measurement in the back of the pattern envelope and your bust measurement is there and your size is there you can buy the exact fabric but me i like to be safe and i always buy extra one yard or extra one meter just in case of mistakes okay guys so it also tells you how to fold how to lay your fabric on the table okay let's see and then you pin it before you cut it out okay and then it tells you on and on can you see if you are cutting lining fusible interfacing lining it tells you how to lay it out and it also tells you what all the marking all the marking in the pattern it tells you what they mean so this booklet tells you because the pattern you will see all these little markings there you see all this marking the book this leaflet explain what they all are okay all this explains it tells you there and on here it tells you how to sew it so this is step by step on how to sew this lovely dress okay so there is it has all the dress here if you want to sew dress a if you want to sew dress b you want to sew dress c you just pick the one you want to sew see can you see that i got all the steps you just pick the one you want to sew can you see that i'm just showing you guys this so that when you want to buy a pattern you will know where it's inside it just show you all the step just follow the step the way it's showing you cut it out the way he has told you to cut it out but if you are used to cutting commercial pattern properly then you don't really need to follow all this step if you are used to cutting commercial pattern already you don't need to follow all these steps okay and also it also tells you it also tells you like um right side wrong side sewing information fabric key all those things it also tells you on it as well okay so that's what this reflect is about as you can see cutting layout just like as i was explaining before cutting layout okay and over here it tells you other stuff um fabric shrinkage shrink fabric if not labeled pre-shrink you know some fabric needs to be shrinked before you can use them to sew okay so this is your fab your pattern paper it looks small but it's, it's when you open it out it's a lot okay so this is more sewing this is more sewing guide because there is three um dress styles there's three dress styles so there's more sewing guide here okay guys so that's how the pattern comes 
so that is how the pattern comes so when you receive it once you understand those bits you could just maybe study them if you want but if you are too excited you can just go straight to this make sure you iron it out use a very lukewarm is it not over warm just warm a bit warm iron to iron it out even sometimes the instruction will tell you to iron the piece the pattern piece paper at first before you cut it out because of all the crests can you see all the crests on it so it's good to iron it out first okay so when you iron it out then you can cut out the piece that you want just like as i was saying just want to give you an example of this this is a shoulder okay so if you are size 22 let's say your bust measurement falls on 22 exact your bust measurement or a little bigger than your bust measurement maybe by one inch you can just cut size 22 out just cut it because this is 22 here you just cut it out okay i don't want to open all the pattern because already i got this butter risk um oh so butter risk is another brand which is also nice and i also prefer butter risk i swear because it's also very easy to sew butter risk pattern in fact, I think it's even much easier than simplicity. Okay, guys. So, once you open it out, you can cut it out. You can cut like this one now. This is an example of the ones I've cut out. So, this is the princess seam dress. Already, you can see it's a princess seam. You can see the curve already can see the ham hole already i've cut it out i've already made the outfit already so i you know the fact this paper, pattern paper is quite light so you have to be very careful with it you can see here because i was stretching it out and it ripped so i have to sell tape it back okay guys so another thing you can do with this with pattern as well another thing you can do is that if there are some parts of the pattern piece whereby you might cut like let's say if yours have up to size 28 and your bust measurement is quite big and your waist is very small sometimes what i do is on the waist side it's just a tip i use and it work on the waist side when i cut the bust when i've marked to where the bust is on the waist side i just cut the smaller i cut the smaller size because the waist is much much smaller than the bust so i cut the smaller size okay guys so that's just a tip that i use but that is if i'm not going to be using the pattern again okay because if you are going to be using the pattern again then perhaps it's better to trace this out first to trace it out once you trace it out once you trace it out then you can transfer any marking any measurement to your plain pattern paper your plain pattern drafting paper then you can do all the adjustment on that one if you know how to do that okay guys so you can see that i've already cut all the piece out this is the back you can see that this is the back okay this is the back because the back also have a princess seam. okay so if you just only want just from the shoulder to the waist you can see that it has where you can cut it off can cut it off here can cut it off here okay guys and you can just use it just for a blouse okay but this is for a full dress as you can see it's very long okay guys so that's what i wanted to talk about for you guys today please if you don't understand anything just leave me a comment on the comment section and i will answer your question or i will try and make a video on it okay and um yeah so that's all for this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe share it please guys and don't forget to turn on the notification bell the one that said all and so that you can get more notification more video notification thanks guys for watching please if you do not understand anything leave me a comment and i'll try and explain in my next sewing tutorial okay guys thanks for watching love you all Bye guys, bye.